Hello everybody, this is Tony, CEO and founder of Trail Luxury Car Rental. Just making another video for my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I manage my 17 car fleet on Turbo. For those of you guys who don't know me, uh, again, my name is Tony. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. I started doing Turbo about a year and a half ago, back in the summer of 2021. I started off with just one vehicle. I ended up scaling my business. I ended up expanding. I now have a total of 17 cars. And all my cars, you can see here, are black. Uh, all my vehicles are black on black with tinted windows. Uh, all my vehicles are V8s. All my vehicles have dual exhausts. Um, all my vehicles are very unique. They all stand out. They're pretty loud. They're fast. They're fun to drive. Uh, so they said, so if you ever come to Louisville, Kentucky to visit, come check me out. Um, but yeah, so all my vehicles are black on black, uh, tinted windows, V8 exhaust. And I rent them out here in Louisville, Kentucky for $100 a day. Uh, unlimited miles, no deposit for any of my cars. And I also offer delivery as well, okay? So just kind of give you a tour. This is my shop where I wash my cars. And this is also where customers come to pick up my cars unless I have them delivered to them to like the airport and to the hotel. So this is just a few of my cars here, okay? It's a total of nine. I said I have 17 total. Uh, the rest of them are rented out. So at about half her. And in this video, I'm going to talk about, you know, how I manage my fleet. Because a lot of people have been hitting me up asking me, you know, how do you do this? How do you manage so many cars? How do you keep up you know, with maintenance, with cleaning, with washing, with bookings, with delivery, uh, stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you what I do. And I'm going to give you some advice and tips and tell you how I manage my fleet. So first off, just so you guys know, when I first started, um, I was doing it out of my house. Because I only had a few cars at the time. So I did start out my house at first. And then as I got more and more vehicles, my neighbors started complaining. They started calling the police on me. Um, I started getting tickets, fines, citations for parking in the street, in the grass and stuff like that. So eventually I knew that I was gonna have to get a storage unit or a shop or a parking lot or somewhere else to store my cars because I was just get, I had too many cars. And with all my cars being V8s, Hemis, when customers start them up and leave, uh, it was very loud and I had a lot of complaints from my neighbors. So, so the first thing is for you guys when you get started, you know, if you have a, just a few cars, I say you could probably do it and keep it at your house. But once you get like 10 cars or more, you are gonna wanna try to find a location that you can store your vehicles at, okay? Cause the more cars you have, um, it's just gonna be a headache or problem. Plus you don't want people knowing where you live at, you know, stuff like that as well. So I definitely recommend getting some type of shop, some type of storage unit, some type of facility to store your vehicles at, um, even a parking lot or something, airport. Um, but once you get a lot of cars, you are gonna wanna find a location to store your vehicles. Um, I just got lucky and, and found this place. And like I said, I store all my vehicles here. Um, and this is why I also clean my cars at as well, um, which is gonna be the next uh, segment. So like I said, once you get your vehicles, once you find out where you're gonna store your vehicles, you're going to, the next thing is find out how you're going to clean your vehicles. So when I did when I first started, as you can see here, I got this uh, barcode uh, Zips car wash on, on all my cars. I'll show you a few more. But when I first started, I actually had a membership at Zips car wash. Okay. And I had it on each one of my vehicles and I paid like $30 a month and I had unlimited washes at Zips car wash where I can go every day if I like any car, limited washes. So that's what I was doing at first. Um, it saves time, it was inexpensive, it was cheap, uh, saves time and, and the hassle. So I was, going, I was going to the car wash, okay? However, once I ended up getting the shop, I ended up getting water, um, I cancel my membership and I wash my cars in-house now. So uh, when my cars come back in, so when they come in, the first thing I do, I take pictures of my cars, I clean them up, I get gas, but if they need gas, I go put gas in them, any maintenance. And then once the vehicle is clean and filled up and everything, then I park it inside so that if somebody book one of these cars, I don't have to do anything, okay? Just pull it on out and give it to the customer, okay? Give it to the guests. So, so that's another thing. Um, like I said, it, it, that's how I manage my fleet. You know, I was doing it by myself at first, then I ended up hiring a part-time employee. So I do have help. I do have somebody helping me, but um, I say for, you know, probably 10 vehicles, you could probably manage it yourself. Once you get more than 10, you're gonna need help, okay? Especially if you have a job, it's gonna be really hard to manage your fleet uh, by yourself, okay? So I would say hire somebody or, you know, or, you know, but it's gonna be hard. The more cars you get, the more it's gonna be harder to manage yourself, okay? Also, you wanna get good relationships with people like mechanics, body shops, you know, 
car wash people, you know, you want to get relationships with people so they can help you uh, with your business, help you with your cars, you know. So I luckily, I'm blessed. I have a couple mechanics on call. I have a body shop guy next door. I have somebody to clean my cars. So I have a lot of help when it comes to maintaining my cars, cleaning my cars, and fixing my cars if they need repairs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's how I manage my fleet. You know, I basically, um, I meet my customers. I know a lot, some people do contact lists. Me, I don't do that. I meet my customers because I want to meet them. I want to greet them. I want to give them a business card. Um, I want to shake their hand, um, provide good customer service. So yeah, so I meet all my customers, okay, when they come to pick up my vehicles. Um, and, you know, I, I greet them and give them a business card and tell them my rules, you know, no smoking, um, bring the car back on time, gas on full, stuff like that. I know other people do things differently. I know other hosts they have like a lockbox or they do like contact list, but I like being hands-on. I like meeting my customers and being professional. Um, so that's what I normally do, you know. So every day when, my, when I see my schedule, I see what cars are available on my schedule. I go ahead and come here in my shop, meet my customers. Um, any cars come back in, I get it clean right away fill up the gas right away, any maintenance right away, uh, get that car ready to go so that somebody else book it, I don't have to do anything, okay? Um, now, so that's how I pretty much manage my fleet. You know, I take pictures before and after every trip. So anytime a car go out, I come back in, I take my pictures. Like I said, I make sure the car's clean, make sure it's sanitized, make sure the gas is full, um, all that before somebody book my vehicle. So that, you know, it saves a lot of time, a lot of hassle that way. Um, like I said, and then as far as delivery, I do still offer delivery. I do deliver up to 50 miles and also deliver to airports. So when I was doing it by myself, I would deliver the car to the airport and then I would catch an Uber or Lyft um, back to my shop. Okay, now that I have a part-time employee, um, he would just follow me in one of my vehicles. That way it saves time, it saves money. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how I manage my fleet. You know, I know a lot of people do things differently, but it's been very successful with me. You know, uh, like I said, I actually have uh, over 1,400 trips now. Um, I make over six figures a year. I'm an all-star host, so I'm very, very successful in Turo, and that's what works for me. Like I said, I like meet my customers. Um, I like, you know, I take pictures before and after every trip, make sure the maintenance is good, make sure the car is clean. Um, that's how I manage my fleet. Like I said, so right now I have 17 cars. I'm going to add some more cars this year to my fleet. Um, and I'm going to try to get to like 20 or 30 cars and then see how things go. And I'm going to try to expand to other cities as well. So, yeah, so I just want to talk to you guys and tell you guys, you know, how I manage my fleet. Because uh, a lot of people have been hit me up asking me, how do I do it? How do I manage so many cars? Um, and that's, that's what I do. You know, I just pretty much just make sure the cars is ready, make sure they're clean. So when somebody book it, the only thing I have to do is just pull the car out and give them the keys. And that's it. You know, so... Um, that's just that's how I do things. I know there's other hosts that does things a little differently. Okay, um, so by the way, uh, if you like this video, uh, please like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can also hit me up on all social media platforms. Uh, Tony Luxury Cars on all social media platforms. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Snapchat. So please uh, subscribe. Hit me up on social media. Um, also, I am doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you want me to teach you the game, teach you about Airbnb, Turo, a business credit, I'm doing sessions now. You can hit me up on that. Um, it's a small, small fee, but I'm doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. And I am having a seminar class coming soon as well. So uh, the next couple of weeks, I will be doing a seminar class. I will have refreshments, food and drinks, and I will be teaching uh, Turo, Airbnb, business credit, personal credit, how to get your LLC, how to get your EIN. I'm going to be basically teaching the game. So if you're interested, uh, hit me up uh, as part of the seminar class. If you want a one-on-one -on -one session right now, you can hit me up. Um, those are available. I already had a few people hit me up and uh, with the sessions. So again,